Sometimes you want code to execute only if a certain condition is true. And in Swift, that's represented primarily by the if and else statements. You give Swift a condition to check, then a block of code to execute if that condition is true. You can optionally also write else and provide a block of code to execute if the condition is false, or even else if and have more conditions. A block of code is just a chunk of code marked with an open brace, as the open curly bracket, and its start, and a close brace closing curly bracket at its end. Here's a basic example. var action colon string var person equals hater. If person is equal to hater, then the action will be hate. That uses the equals equals operator introduced previously to check whether the string inside person is exactly equivalent to the string hater. If it is, it sets the action variable to hate. Note the open and close braces. These really matter, also known by the less technical name of curly brackets. They mark the start and end of the code that will be executed if the condition is true. Let's add else if and else blocks. We'll say if person is equal to hater, actions hate, else if person is equal to player, then action equals play. And else all other conditions will do action equals cruise. That's going to check every condition in order, and only one of the blocks will be executed. A person's either a hater, a player, or anything else. You can ask Swift to evaluate as many conditions as you want, but they all need to be true in order for Swift to execute the block of code. To check multiple conditions, use the ampersand ampersand operator. It means and. For example, var action will be some sort of string. Var stay out too late is true. Var nothing in brain equals true. If stay out too late ampersand ampersand and nothing in brain, then action equals cruise. Because stay out too late and nothing in brain are both true, the whole condition is true and action gets set to cruise. Swift uses something called short circuit evaluation to boost performance. If it's evaluating multiple things that all need to be true and the first one's false, it doesn't even bother evaluating the rest. This might sound deeply philosophical, but it's actually important. Sometimes you care whether a condition is not true, i.e. false. You can do this using the not operator that was introduced earlier. For example, if we had uh, var stay out too late equals true, and var nothing in brain equals true, plus some sort of action string, we could say if not stay out too late, and not nothing in brain, then action equals cruise. This time, the action variable will only be set if both stay out too late and nothing in brain are false. The not has flipped them around. 